Hello students. In this video, we're going to be covering an exercise from Unit 2, Book 3 of the Q-Skills book for 102 students. The unit question for this unit is what's more important, taste or nutrition? Meaning, is food that tastes good better? more important, or is healthy food more important? This you'll be covering in your classes. Listening for causes and effects. Causes and effects means when something happens, there's a result to that thing that you've done. Speakers often talk about causes and effects to help explain their opinions. Listening for the linking words and phrases that connect causes or reasons and effects results will help you understand the speaker's main points. For example, I really cook because I am tired when I get home. The cause is, or the reason, I am tired when I get home. The effect of this is, I really cook. Here are some more examples. Let's look at some few more. So here we have the two clauses. And we have the effects and the causes. For these, we use linking words such as because, since, as, and so. We never win because my team is not very good. We use because to emphasize the reason. We never win because my team is not very good. This is the cause and the reason. My team is not very good. And the result or the effect of that is their team never wins. We normally buy online since it's more expensive in the store. In winter, we stay indoors, as it's so cold outside. It's common to use since and so at the beginning of a sentence. Since it's more expensive in the stores, we normally buy online. As it's so cold outside, in winter, we stay indoors. Remember, after the first clause, we need to add a comma. We also use so. So normally comes between the two clauses. The food was unhealthy, comma, so we decided not to eat it. Remember, clauses are a group of words containing a subject and a verb. Cause and effect using due to and because of. So here we have the causes on the left side and the effects after. If you realize before, with since, so, and because, and as, the effects were first, then the causes. It's the other way around when we use due to and because of. But when do we use due to and when do we use because of? When we use due to, it's normally followed by noun phrases. 
Due to is hard work. Noun phrase are two words that are joined together to emphasize the noun. Hard work. Bad weather. High calories. Due to his hard work, Ibrahim is very smart. Cause and the effect. So even with because of, we have the noun phrase. But with due to, it's normally followed first by the form of a verb be. In these examples, due to his hard work, due to my daughter's illness. With because of, we use because of usually to emphasize something that is negative. Because of the high calories, I don't eat junk food. Because of bad weather, which is another negative, we had to cancel the match. The difference between because and because of, because is a conjunction and is followed by a subject plus verb. Because of is a preposition and is followed by a noun or noun phrase, as we showed you here. Go to exercise A, book 3, unit 2, listening and speaking, page 31. There you'll see an exercise. Listen to the sentences. Complete each sentence with the correct word or phrase. So you have to decide which linking word for the cause and effect we need to use for each sentence. Number one. Let's do number one together. Dr. Al Tussari is a nutritional expert. Mark interviewed him on his radio show. So the cause or the reason is because he's a nutritional expert. The result was he was interviewed on a radio show. So for this example, we know the beginning of the sentence they normally use for these type of sentences, so or as. In this example, we want to use uh, since. Eating a lot of cheese isn't good. The large amount of salt. What could go in here? Looking at the context of the sentence, you can see the large amount of salt is not a good thing. And we have isn't good. So we're talking about something negative. Remember what we said to use? If it was something negative, we wanted to emphasize it. Because of. Because of the large amount of salt. Good. Try and do the following two remaining sentences. Complete it with linking words that you find from our exercise. Pause the video now and try and complete the exercise. Okay, great. Let's have a look at those answers. Number three was because, I hope you got this one right, because Hamad stopped drinking soda, he feels much healthier now. We use because because we wanted to emphasize the reason. Because Hamad stopped drinking soda, he feels much healthier now. Hamad also wants to lose weight, comma, so he's following Dr. Arudasari's suggestion. Remember, in our examples, so, we use between the clauses and after a comma. So this one we need to use so. Great. I hope you did well. If you didn't get them right, have a look again at the examples and try again. Also, try and look at the rest of the book and the unit. Well done.
Thanks for watching.